So they don't end up in this place. But he said, we, we, they won't receive Moses and the prophets. If they won't receive Moses and the prophets, then they wouldn't receive somebody back from the dead. They wouldn't, you know, they don't believe, most people don't believe people rise from the dead, do they? Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. They think, think that's not real. You don't see those kind of things in the news. No. They don't tell about miracles in the news where God does something. They don't tell about those things. They tell about all the evil things. I call it the bad news. The bad news. I don't watch much of the bad news. Why? Well, because it's depressing. And, and my, I got I to keep my joy. Because the joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. The joy of the Lord is your strength. You want to be strong? Keep your joy. Hallelujah. He is mighty God. He is more than enough. He is worthy of our prayer. Yes, He is. But God will lead you through dreams. He will lead you through visions. That you've just got to be open to serve, to serve Him and to walk in His way. Amen. You got to, now, sometimes you may not know if that's an angel. The Bible says sometimes we entertain angels unawares. You, know, you just may run into somebody, and they may be an angel, but you just don't know. But if it's an angel from God, and they want to give you some information, they'll make sure you know that it's an angel. They'll make sure that you know. Have you ever had an angel appear to you? Yes. Except for that dream. I had one appear to me in a dream, and he helped me with something I was trying to go through at that time. He's a mighty God. Yeah. He's a mighty God. Hallelujah. He is worthy of prayer. Yes, God will lead you. He will guide you by His Spirit, and He will show you things to come. Yes. Hallelujah. He is Lord. mighty God. Hallelujah. Lord, you got two times since I started this church. I've had I've had dreams from the Lord, where the Lord showed me the next night people that were going to be in my church that were going to cause trouble. And both times, they, now, one time I didn't know either one of those people. And, and I, I was actually, uh, the next day I was in a, because we were having like Bible studies and, and on weeknights, and the, next, and, and the Lord had shown me these two people coming into the church and sitting down at Bible studies. And they, the Lord showed me this one woman walking over to our table where he said what we believe in. And she picked it up and she shook her head like that and she looked at it. And I, and I was visiting somebody in the hospital. When I got to the church that night, I looked in the mirror, in the window, and those two people that I saw in the dream the night before were sitting there. That's amazing, isn't it? God does those kind of things. He was trying to warn me about these people. And th- during this whole, the whole meeting, during this meeting, this woman was real contentious. And then at the end of it, she got up and she walked over to the table that I saw in the dream. And she picked up this page of paper and picked it up and said, I don't agree with this, and I don't agree with that, and I don't agree with this. And I thought, and then I told him, I said, God showed me you two in, this, in my dream last night. And she said, what, did he warning you about it? I said, I don't know. I really knew he was warning me about it. I said, I don't know, but he just wanted me to know you were being here. And they never came back. <laughs> they were there to try and take over it. And so, but, but they were, they, they had told me they were involved in a cult for several years. But they were there to try to take over. We were a new church at that time. But God will warn you. One time, one time I was getting ready to do a funeral. I don't like doing funerals. I don't like to, I'm just telling you now, don't die. <laughs> no, I don't like doing funerals. Don't die. I'll, I'll do a funeral if you die, but don't die. Because <laughs> I don't like doing funerals. And so I was getting ready to do this funeral over in Richmond. And the Lord, the Lord, while I was praying, because I pray before every message I preach, and while I was praying, all of a sudden I saw by the Spirit, I saw me given like an invitation at the end of the funeral. And I always do that at the end of the funeral. I always give an invitation. And so at the end, I gave an invitation, and over half the people in the house raised their hand. I mean, it was full. The, the, the building was full. Over half the people raised their hand. And it shocked me when I saw that. I said, Lord, is that you or is that just my imagination? And when I did the funeral, I did it. Now, I felt like I preached the worst message I've ever preached during the funeral. But when I gave the invitation, over half the people in the place raised their hands. They received Jesus Christ. Glory. Isn't that amazing? Hallelujah. And about six months after that, about six months after that, I, I got a call from somebody that I didn't know. And I thought I should know this person, but I didn't know him. And I said, they said, can you come up here to the hospital in St. Joe? Because such and such is dying. Can you come up here and pray for him? And I said, sure. I said, what room is he? 
So I went up there. When I got up there, I, I saw these people. I didn't know them. I saw these people, and I didn't know them. And they said to, they said to me, you probably don't know them. <laughs> and I, I thought, woo. <laughs> they, said, they said this. They said, we were in that funeral that you preached. And, and me and my husband both gave our lives to the Lord. And she said this. She said, my husband, for, for years, for like 20 years, had done drugs every day. She said, and this was like six months later, she said, ever since that day, he's never done another drug. Hallelujah. God, oh, he is mighty God. He is mighty God. He is mighty God. He is worthy of our prayer. God will lead you, guide you by the Spirit. But you've got to become sensitive to the voice of the Spirit. Spend time in the Word. Spend time in prayer. And God will show you. Absolutely. He is mighty God. Yes. He is worthy. Woo. He is worthy. Hallelujah. He is worthy. Thank you. Praise you, Father. Glory to God. Praise you, Lord. 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 We're going to take the uh, missionary offering now. Hallelujah. Thank, Thank, you, Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Thank, Thank you, Father. We love you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord. We give you praise. Good to be in this bucket right here. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. You're making, you're making a check. Just make it to Living Word Church for LWC. And uh, I know my mom's already gave the missionary offering a couple weeks back. Oh, yeah. Huh? Did you, Mom? But we forgot to take it last week. So that's why we're taking it today. Amen. Father God, we just love you so much. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father, for the opportunity to give into your kingdom, to promote your word, Father, throughout the world. And we give you praise. We give you glory. You are mighty God. Thank you are you, worthy. Lord, we love you, Father. You are Thank worthy. You for blessing. Praise you, Father. Thank you are worthy, Lord. Father, bless Thank this offering to do the work you called Jesus. us to do, Father. And also, Father, Thank bless you, Father. the people in a mighty way. Jesus. In the name of Thank Jesus. You, and I give you praise. Thank and I give you glory. In Jesus' Thank name. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 